clothing and I'm like, girl, challenge accepted. I hate wearing tight clothing and I hate, hate, hate wearing underwear. this Thursday um, I am up dressed in my workout clothes I have a sweatshirt on over it because it's a little cold out um but I'm headed today to Orange Theory I'm doing Orange Theory today with my friends and I'm so excited because it's like personal trainer based classes so like it's not just you and a personal trainer it's like a class with one personal trainer and I cannot wait um, honestly, the one in Spartanburg and Greenville are equal distance from my house. Um, so I'm going to the one in Spartanburg because I think that's closer to where she works. I could be wrong about that. I don't know why we chose Spartanburg, but I am stoked about doing this today. Like, I cannot wait. So, um, I do have a few errands to run after. I have to run, like, my hair looks crazy. I have to run to FedEx to make a return. I have to run to, um... Well, no Massage Envies and all that stuff. I'm so frustrated with Massage Envy, but that's just because they won't answer their phone. And then um, something else. But just want to let you guys know I'm about to get my butt kicked and I'm so excited. I already took like progress photos, like, because um, I have the photo from when I started working out a year ago. I took photos today, like when I've been working out for a year. And then I want to take some in a couple months after I've done Orange Theory for a few months. So, really excited, but I gotta get going. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so deceased. I'm breaking out. I have, I really think I'm getting like mask knee. I don't know why. I wash my masks. I wash my face. But I've been breaking out a lot around my mask area lately. And it's really frustrating me. But I had to wear my mask when I worked out in Orange Theory. You guys, I am deceased. I burned like 428, 438 calories or something in one workout. I've never burned that in a workout. I don't know if I'm just not working out hard enough or if I just got my butt kicked um, uh, that much, but I'm coming back tomorrow. I signed up for the elite membership two times a week. That was the most epic thing ever. I am deceased, but now I have to run to FedEx. I smell like a garbage truck. And so tomorrow when we come at 6.15, I'm going to bring something to shower with because you girls, a little gross, like a, a lot gross. Oh, yes, I feel like I'm always in my kitchen, but um, I have gotten ready. <laughs> I am so tired from that workout. I like can't even move at a, a relatively normal pace today but i'm gonna make the lunch that i've been making non-stop lately mm -hmm. so i um i think i mentioned this a couple times like i go back and forth between hating eggs and loving eggs now i'm on a hate egg kind of trend don't know why a lot of you guys said you're the same way so it made me feel a little bit more normal but i've been loving avocados lately um I think I'm gonna do probably half an avocado today because one whole avocado on two slices of bread, like this is a lot, this is a lot of avocado. So I think I'm gonna do half. All I put in them, it's, I don't do like guac. I just put a little bit of spice because I don't wanna add anything in there that's like super high in calorie, um, you know, super high in carbs, anything like that. So I just put like onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and that's it. And a little bit of olive oil just to kind of make it a little bit more creamy. Um, but. I mean, it's really all I do because again, I want it to have a little bit of flavor, but I'm not making like guacamole. I'm just want like avocado. Uh, so what I'm doing, we just got Amazon packages delivered. And the UPS guy is supposed to be coming today. He's supposed to bring my a package of mine that needs to be signed for. So keep looking out for him. But look how. Like, what is even the point of this? Like, why would you even put this in a bread thing? Okay, so this is actually what I want to show you guys. You don't actually need one of these. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But I did grab this off Amazon. And you just put your little half your avocado in here. The one that you don't use. Um, and it does, like, help save it for a couple days. But I usually, like, I wouldn't recommend leaving and half open avocado in your fridge for more than, like, a day. That's just me. Okay, 
Yummy. It's my lunch for today. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Okay, so I'm actually filming this the same day this video is going up. So I wanted to chat with you guys real quick before Sam gets home with dinner. He went to pick up Zaxby's. Oh, grilled chicken Caesar salad from Zaxby's is the best of the best and no one can ever tell me otherwise. Um, but I got a lot of DMs about Brazilian wax today, so I wanna talk about it. If you don't like hearing about that kind of stuff, you think it's TMI, you think it shouldn't be on the internet, go ahead and just click right out here because I'm gonna get down in the dirty with you guys and share all the lovely, lovely details because I got a like, crazy amount of DMs about it. Um, so this morning was all jacked up. I thought I was going to go to my appointment at 9.45 and then I remembered after I got there at 9.30. So like I went to, I literally scheduled my workout this morning for super early, like I think our, we worked out at 6.15 one hour orange theory it was exhausting it was amazing um but i did that because i thought oh i can't go to the 8 45 a.m class i have a wax appointment at 9 45. my wax appointment at 9 45 a.m is on may 22nd not april 22nd so i wasted a whole bunch of time this morning i was pissed but and i think i got a lot of dms because you guys know like when I say is this too much information, I mean is it too much information for you guys to receive? Not is it too much information for me to share. I was raised by a nurse and I think that that contributes to 99% of the reason that I am like so open about things because that woman just like, she was open. I mean that's just how my mom is. So, okay. Um, basically my friends and I are going to Jamaica pending, um, in June and we had talked about, cause like a couple years ago, so we didn't go on a vacation last year as a group, but we wanted to go on one that was international. So in 2019, we went to the beach and we were all like, we need to go on an international trip. While we were all there, we were all bitching and moaning about our razor burn on our bikini areas. And so cut to, it's 2021, we wanna go on this international trip with friends, hoping that it actually happens. And one of the girls was like, I really, really wanna get my legs waxed. And I was like, me too, I would love to get my legs waxed. I would love to get a Brazilian wax. That was like, I was kind of the first one who was like, I really don't want to have to shave in Jamaica. And so I think, she's still getting her legs waxed. But it ended up, now a whole group of us, we all wanted to go get Brazilians. And so we found this lady, we made a point to find someone we don't know. She doesn't work at a salon of anywhere, anyone we know, because that's just, that's too much, okay? You see the whole thing. And so I wanted to not know this lady, okay? I did not want to know her. I don't want to run into her. It's just weird. So, <laughs> We set up our appointments and to shoot it straight, you cannot shave for at least what she said to us three weeks before. So we set, um, like I set my appointment up, I think my appointment in June is like the Thursday before we leave. So I'll have about four days um, to kind of give myself some chill time. Um, and then I went backwards from there. So I set the appointment three weeks before that, which was May 22nd. And then I set the appointment, I think it's actually four weeks um, today. So I went and everyone told me, first of all, redheads can't get laser. Our hair follicles um, are all too light. So like, it's just physically impossible. And also I would never get laser because my mom paid a butt ton for laser and it did not work. Like she fully has to shave again and she went for a very long period of time. It was very painful and it didn't work. So um, did get that a lot. People were like, just get laser. And I'm like, well, first of all, it's very expensive, like a lot more expensive. And second, I can't, I'm a redhead. But two, a lot of people told me it was going to be very, very painful. And the longer you go, the less it hurts. And what the lady said today was, it's not the it's, it hurts less, it's just that you know what to expect. And I would say that that is honestly what was the most painful about it. It wasn't that the actual process of it was excruciatingly painful, it's just that you did not know what to expect. I literally walked in, I met this woman, and she was like, okay, go ahead and take off your bottoms. Like 14 seconds later, and I am like spread eagle on a table with my cooch in this woman's face. And I mean, listen, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it was it was rainbows and daisies. It did not feel good. There were some parts of it that on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate them at a solid 8. 
and even my friend who went right after me, she was like, yeah, no, solid eight. There were some parts of it that were a four. Like it, it wasn't bad, it was just more uncomfortable. The thing that was the worst to me about the actual wax process was that you just didn't know. It was very unexpected. I've never done that before. And she did have to like tweeze a couple hairs after and that is literally one of the most painful things. I would say those were actually nines. I take that back. Yeah, those were for sure nines, but she tweezed like three hairs. Um, I did get, again, this is like, we're just, we're, we're laying it all out there. Um, I did get a, I think it's like a hydro jelly mask. And so she like mixed up this little mask and put it on everything and then waited 10 minutes, came back and peeled it right off. And it, it helped a ton. She told me basically for the rest of the day to not wear underwear if I can, if I can and um, wear loose fitting clothing. And I'm like, girl, challenge accepted. I hate wearing tight clothing and I hate, hate, hate wearing underwear. <laughs> Man, I'm really just putting all this out there on the internet, aren't I? Wow, wow, can you guys tell I'm an open book? It's just not, being closed off is not who I am if it can help someone else. Um, so yeah, that that was kind of how it went and it was not bad. I am excited to go back in three weeks because if this, truthfully, if it my hair grows back as slow as everyone claims and like it's easier the longer you go, I am a wax girl for life. And I know plenty of people who are like that now. Plenty of people are like, girl, I do not shave. No, no, no. I just get waxed. It's easier. And I mean, three weeks, that's once a month. It's not that bad. So yeah, I mean, that's really it. That's all kind of the details I have for you guys. She did not use a sugar wax, I don't believe. Some people said that they prefer that. Honestly, I don't have a preference. I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. Maybe it would have. I feel like the pain is just kind of all the same when you're, when you're, in that situation. I, I told my friends, I said, the most awkward and uncomfortable part for me was just that I met this woman and 14 seconds later, she was like all up in my business, but she was awesome. You could tell she was very knowledgeable. She was of course very professional and so, so sweet. Um, but I'm so glad that I don't know her and that I've never seen her in public and I pray to the Lord above that I don't ever have to see her in public because she, she's seen me yet, she's seen it all. And uh, that's that really nothing nothing crazy but i did want to cover it because let me let me just real quick 23 dms about this so i'm just gonna answer it for you guys here but sam i think just pulled in i heard a car door shut i hope that's him um with dinner so thank you guys so much for watching the vlog and we'll see you on saturday